Good Chodesh. Uh, we obviously want to talk a little bit about Purim. You know, I always find Purim as the holiday which is very hard to fulfill and to do it easily. I mean, thought of um, anger at a nation which attacked us a few thousand years ago, and I'm supposed to somehow hate and then want to erase them, Mechiat Amalek, to the extent that Rambam says that the fulfillment of the mitzvah of Pashat Zechor is to get out of shul and hate them enough to want to kill somebody. And I really don't think he ever fulfilled that. I find it hard to hate people. I don't think he ever did. Uh, I can understand self-defense. I can understand things like that. But hate, hate is a hard thing to bring up and to do. Definitely for a nation which attacked us, what is it, 3,000 years ago? How does one do that? How does one, why does one get so... Uh, so enthusiastic of, uh, of moving his Rashan and uh, erasing the name of Haman with greatest respect. I mean, what's it about? You know, many times you find that um, mitzvot that we have today can't really be fulfilled in totality. We can't really uh, bring sacrifices at the moment. There are many things we can't do. And the only fulfillment you have of those mitzvot is trying to understand their inner dimension and trying to fulfill it at that level. That's actually in the Sefer Akedah writes that that is the idea of kala useik b'torat olah kilu ikriv olah. It doesn't mean just that you have some kind of a zgula that by reading the parsha of, uh, of Korbanot, it's as if you fulfilled Korbanot. It's more than that. If you understand the depth of Korbanot and what they represent at a moral, ethical level, you can fulfill that commandment at that level, even you can't practically slaughter a goat and sprinkle its blood on old. Well, it would seem to be that, you know, we don't really have an Amalek around today, halachically. Uh, you know, an Amalek in the purest halachic sense, we would have to... Um, kill men, women, and children, and I don't think anybody thinks that such thing exists today in the crazy way. I'd like to say thank God for that reality, that we don't do things that way. There are people that do that to us, and we're very angry and feel hurt and think they're barbaric. Um, but we can't fulfill this mitzvah by conceptualizing Amalek and maybe hating that idea, maybe try to eradicate that idea. The um, Pasuk says, let's take upeti ya'arim. Is the cynic, which is smitten, and the fool becomes wise. Midrash says, let's take the cynic, which God smites, is Amalek. Upeti ya'arim, and the fool, the one which doesn't know, Yisro, oh, he became wise and came to convert and come to Sinai. Um, yes, Chazal call Amalek a cynic. In all truth, uh, Hasidut describes that the basic theme of Amalek is saying that you can never really attain transcendency. You can't really be different. You're all a bunch of monkeys. Mowgli. Mowgli is probably the most hated character in Jungle Book. He reflects nothing more than the people around him and has no personality of his own. Amalek seems to tell you, don't believe in yourself. Don't believe you can do anything. Don't believe the world can change. Don't believe that you can attain profundity, transcendency, what we normally call Ketusha, Kitalut. Give up. It's all external. It can't really happen. In all truth, that is um, something that we all suffer from. It's called religious cynicism. It's called cynicism, not believing in people, not believing in anything. We don't believe that our kuf can be a kuf of Kedusha, Rather, it's a kuf of a koif, a monkey. We believe that we're a bunch of mogbis. That is something which is religiously challenging. That is something that many a time when you really want to grow, you wish you didn't have to have to ride that problem. And yet, you can hate that. You could want that to stop existing. That which is in society, which looks at you and says, oh, do you really mean it? that has that cynical twitch of the nose saying, oh, come on. That which you say to yourself, I can't really do this, because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in God, really, and you're cynical about that too. 
You say, look about everything, and that is the trademark of our Western society. Amalek is that. Let's take upeti yarim. If you, you know, make noise with your grager, think about destroying and eradicating cynicism. And then we young fools will finally become wise because we will believe in ourselves, have a meaningful prayer.